president's We the People address today was about American diversity and equality. It had special meaning to one of the 60 groups inv invited to march in the inaugural parade, a team of women with deep roots in this land. Byron Pitts has their story. They often perform to a sound of pageantry centuries old. They are the first Native American women warrior color guard. All veterans, all proud of their ancestry and the nation they serve. Micheline Big Man is the group's founder. Sergeant Big Man served 22 years in the Army, including two tours in Iraq. We're like the heartbeat of America. We're Native Americans. We're still here, you know. We're, I think we're even stronger now than we were before. Nearly 5,000 Native American women have served in Iraq and Afghanistan wars. Sergeant Big Man's grandmother served in World War II. She was small. She was like only five feet and maybe 100 pounds, but they said she was one of the meanest ones they had. Sounded like her granddaughter's not that different. I know. Big Man was born and raised on the Crow Reservation in Montana. Unemployment was high. Alcoholism and domestic violence were chronic. So she enlisted at age 21 and went on to become a mechanic supporting a combat battalion. There was an all-male battalion, and when I showed up, they were really disappointed in the tension. I could just see it. First of all, I was female, a minority, and then I was Native American. I had to prove myself three times as hard sometimes. And she did. When she retired after two decades, she formed the Native American Women Warriors. The group includes all ranks and branches of service. They promote diversity and equality in the military and on reservations. The Native American Women Warriors. In today's parade, they displayed their badges of military service worn on their Native warrior dresses. Dressed as worn during a traditional dance for prayer and healing. I think it's time for us to heal, not only as veterans, but as a nation. So you want to share some of that beauty and healing power with everyone? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Healing for the warriors, like for the nation they served, he said, is something worth dancing about today, any day. Byron Pitts, CBS News, Washington. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. With thanks to the Jones Day Law Firm for this view of the Capitol and for all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley. We'll leave you now with James Taylor's inaugural tribute to the nation. Good night. America, God's head, yeah.